When are you going to finally own up to the idea that you need to be okay with your own thoughts? You need to be comfortable with the thoughts that you're actually having. My name's Zachary. Thank you so much for tuning back into the Self-Improvement Lab. That's probably not maxed out. That's a little bit better. You need to be comfortable with your own thoughts. You really do owe it to yourself to say, hey, I'm comfortable with my own thoughts. Because what are you doing not being comfortable with your own thoughts? You're literally wasting your potential. You don't realize the true amount of ideas that you could have and the true creativity and the true person you could be because you're too in denial to the fact that you're not comfortable with your own thoughts. Become comfortable with your own thoughts. You're sitting around not confronting your childhood. You're sitting around not confronting your demons. You're sitting around not confronting yourself and all the things that you got wrong in life. The more that you don't confront yourself, the more that you mess around and the more that you distract yourself with Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, and are not comfortable with your thoughts, you're wasting your potential. I just got done talking about how to find your purpose and how to find your purpose, you have to be okay with sitting alone with yourself. You have to be okay with the idea that I'm okay to sit alone. I'm okay to sit in the dark. I don't need my phone because I can entertain myself with my thoughts. It's a very scary thought for some people to have to sit down and relax with themselves, chill out with themselves and have good thoughts. Because inherently what's going to happen is you're going to go to sit down. And I was the case. I used to do this too. You're going to go to sit down and what are you going to do? You're not going to be comfortable. You're going to think of something negative in the past that happened and you're going to start to dwell in the past. And it's just this negative spiral that happens and happens. I know what happens. I was literally a living example of what happens when somebody sits alone with themselves. When you're overweight, when no girls want you, when you don't know what you want to do in your life, you can very quickly come to realize that you are worthless. You are nothing. And not being able to sit alone with your thoughts is proof in the pudding. You don't understand the benefits of sitting alone with yourself because you haven't done it, you haven't tried it, or you're too afraid to try it. Don't be afraid to try it. Who are you confronting? You're confronting yourself. You've already lived through it, so how can you be in fear of confronting yourself? You're much bigger than yourself. Have you ever sat down and thought that you're much bigger than yourself? You probably thought you're littler than yourself. You're bigger than whatever your problem is. Who's to tell you you're not? You? Well, how do you know you? Because you don't even know you. You can't even sit alone with thoughts in, in, in the dark. It's not possible for you to do. Confront yourself. Say to yourself that I'm tired of where I'm at. I'm tired of who I become. I want to become something different. I want to become a better version of myself. And I know I can. And that higher purpose for me is waiting. So confront yourself in the dark. Confront yourself and turn around and say hello to the demons. Whatever's haunting you is not going to haunt you very much longer when you turn around and say hi and realize that it was never a demon, that it's short strawberry shortcake or whoever or whatever the lady's name is from My Little Pony. It's somebody, bro. Like there's no sense in you sitting here and dwelling on the thought and saying, hey, You know, I'm not comfortable sitting alone with myself because you have to be comfortable sitting alone with yourself. That's where all the good ideas come from. Where do you think my good ideas come from? Do you think my good ideas just come from me existing? They don't come from me existing. They come from because I'm comfortable talking to myself. They come from the idea that I'm comfortable with the thoughts that I have. Because if I wasn't comfortable with the thoughts that I have, if I wasn't comfortable with myself, how could I ever come up with something? Because the conscious mind is always going to say that that's not good enough. You're not good enough. You can't come up with good ideas. You can't have good thoughts. It all starts from here. It all stems from the idea of yourself. The idea of yourself you hold is probably pretty negative, but it can change today. And the way it changes is by confronting yourself. You have to be okay with being in the dark by yourself and confronting your thoughts and saying, I am bigger than you. I am stronger than you. Because if you can say to your thoughts that you're stronger than them, you will win. There's nothing stopping you. They're just thoughts. How do you have and how do you let thoughts become so much bigger than they actually are? Thoughts aren't that big. You're bigger than thoughts. You are the thought. Have you ever thought about that? That you are the thought that you think? Have you ever thought about whatever I think I am? I am the I am. I am successful. I am smart. How do I not have a chance to be successful and smart? I am stupid. I have done silly things in the past. I'm a failure. I'm living in the past. Well, no kidding because you're not comfortable with yourself. Man up. Change your life today. Be comfortable sitting alone in the dark. Be comfortable sitting alone in the room by yourself. Turn off your phone for once and actually stop distracting yourself with nonsense 